There's so much to do and explore. You are in a safe, comfortable environment where you can learn more about the animals. We really are here to educate and inspire, especially the people in Saskatchewan and especially the children. You never know what you're going to get, so come and visit the zoo as often as you can. The Forestry Farm Park and Zoo started as a tree growing facility. They started growing trees in the early 1900s and between 1913 and 1966, they produced over 147 million trees to go out into Western Canada. So since then, since about 1966, we've become a zoo. We are accredited by the Canadian Association of Zoos and Aquariums and we have two main areas of the park. We have our park area where people can picnic and barbecue. We have a hall rental for people. A lot of people love to have weddings out here. We actually have a wedding garden. We have a fishing pond, uh, cricket pitches for people to come out and play cricket. And then of course we have the zoo here. The zoo's about 40 acres. We have about 250 animals and about 40 to 50 species of different animals, including our grizzly bears that you can see behind me. When guests come to the zoo, we have a great collection of animals to share with them. We have a lot of North American animals, such as the bison, the wolf, the cougar, um, even the bald eagles. Interesting enough is that we have helped rehabilitate these eagles. Our two eagles are in the collection because they're no longer able to fly. And this way, they wouldn't survive in the wild. So what we can do is offer them a home, a, a nice natural environment, good nutrition, and somewhere they can thrive. Now our care for our animals is top notch. We have a nutritionist on staff who looks after the diets of every single animal here on site. We have uh, world class veterinarian care brought to us by the University of Saskatchewan Western College of Veterinary Medicine. And of course our keeper staff is second to none. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about training. So operant conditioning training is where we get an animal to voluntarily engage with us. Right now you'll see Kelly is working with Dante, our bison. What we want to do is have the animal trust us and eventually that can lead to more advanced behaviors. For example, we have to vaccinate these animals. We also uh, apply an ivermectin on them so we can medicate them. There's only one way Dante is going to let us do that is if he trusts us. So what Kelly is doing right now is working with him so that he trusts her and eventually she'll be able to start touching him and maybe even get to the point where we're gonna give him that vaccination. And then she gives him a reward. Right now he's getting carrots, and he, obviously he likes his carrots. So he's willing to work for her. So the role of our zookeepers here is to provide the animals with great animal care, to provide nutrition for the animals, to make sure their habitat is safe, make sure they have enough room and space to run and to elicit their natural behaviors. We provide them with environmental enrichment, which is something that we can add to their environment that stimulates them, gets their mind thinking a little bit. There's always a lot of activity at the zoo, and what can be more active than our dingoes? These are two sisters, Yuki and Maple. And right now, they're getting some really fun enrichment by our zookeeper, Shawnee. Yesterday was Earth Day. What a great day to say, Let's save the earth by giving paper mache earth balls that the dingoes are tearing up because there's some delicious things inside. And as you can see, they're definitely interested in our keepers. Our keeper staff love them too. So one of the things we really focus on and we really like to uh, work on out here at the zoo is our education programs. We have an amazing zoo society, Kathleen and her staff uh, really focus on teaching and bringing those kids and getting them just involved and excited about the animals and everything going on out here. We provide education programs to children from preschool all the way up to university level. And one of the great things for us is in light of COVID, we've been able to take that reach to all corners of Saskatchewan so that we can provide programming virtually. But we also deliver camps, uh, when there's professional development days for children, we provide a day for them to come and spend some time with us and the animals having some fun. Hey, Georgia. And we also provide birthday parties when we have the opportunity to do so when COVID restrictions are not in place. So there's a lot of things that you can come out and experience through the Saskatoon Zoo Society. It's 
It takes a lot of effort and work on our part and the animal's part before we even go and share our animals with the public. Because these animals not only have to have trust in us, but we have to have trust in them. Now Georgia the porcupine here is one of those animals that we have the pleasure of working with. And she's just such a sweetheart that she has no problem in coming right close to me, especially when she wants some extra food. So it's a really great opportunity for students to get an opportunity to experience an animal that they might not have experienced in the wild before. For the Saskatoon Zoo Society, our real big message to the students is that life is all connected and that individual actions do make a difference because collectively they will always alter the change of what we can see for the future. After all, we're just another animal on planet Earth and if we want it healthy for all these wonderful creatures, we need to make it healthy for us. I'm in one of my favorite places at the zoo. We are in the meerkat house. There's always something exciting going on with the meerkats. Here you can see we have three female meerkats and they're busy, busy, busy. Right now they're currently looking for food. We just gave them a bunch of crickets, which are fun. And it's really exciting for these guys to dig around, forage. This is something they would be doing in their natural habitat. What we try to do at the zoo is elicit their natural environment and this way it, it would give them opportunities to explore their natural behaviors. One of the things meerkats love doing best is digging as you can see. So why do you want to come to the Saskatoon Forestry Farm Park and Zoo? It's a beautiful place to be outdoors in nature. You can explore and see animals in their natural habitats. You are in a safe, comfortable environment where you can learn more about the animals, learn more about the plants and trees in your neighborhoods, and you can even uh, have so much fun at our playground. So there's always lots to do at the zoo, whether you even want to stop by for some snacks at our Buckeye Cafe, or if you just want to relax and sit at the Caribou Overlook, see the pond, take in nature. That's what we're here for. We do have a website, saskatoonzoosociety.ca, where you can go and you can sign up for programs via our website. But if you just want to connect with us virtually, you can connect with us on Facebook, Saskatoon Zoo Society Inc., or on Instagram, Saskatoon Zoo Society as well. And if you don't like those, you can always give us a call and see if we can get something going for you. So we're excited about a, quite a few new things that are gonna be happening at the zoo and the park this year. Uh, we have a brand new butterfly exhibit that's being constructed right now. This will house probably eight to 12 different species of butterflies where you get to walk through. There'll be some places to sit, some uh, water movement, and you just, it's just gonna be a really uh, meditative, really relaxing type of exhibit. And we have a new prairie dog exhibit, which we're really excited about. We're gonna have over 40 feet of glass area where you can get really up close and personal with these black-tailed prairie dogs. Uh, the exhibit itself is over nine feet deep, so the prairie dogs are gonna be able to dig their tunnels and their, what they call their, their houses really well, and you're gonna have, uh, just to be able to see what a real prairie dog uh, habitat looks like. Some of the other new things that we've got going on, we've got some new snowy owls, and we're just excited about all the different species here. We're having some new babies in spring, so we're always excited to get the new babies coming out. I think it's really important that guests have a place to come where they can learn about animals, where they can learn about nature, find that connection. And I think it's also really important that I play a role in conservation. What we do here helps conserve species, and I, I'm really, really excited about that, and I'm really happy that I can contribute to it. If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Max TV Local, email us at max.local at sastel.com.